Hey, Internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and magicbrad.com. And I've got my friend Nancy Lindgren. She's a local here in Minneapolis, which is kind of refreshing. Some local people instead of the people from the other side of the pond or country. Are you there, Nancy? I am right here. And we can hear you loud and clear, so technology is working for us. That's always a challenge, but it worked wonderful. It must be your energy. And you just got back from Amsterdam, I understand. I did. I had a wonderful trip. Lots of big adventures. I was out there years ago. Yeah. A lot of crazy stuff going on. Did you smoke some pot? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I understand. Going to a coffee shop. <laughs> well, a coffee shop? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I know. I, it's weird seeing stuff in other places like that. I saw a moving van over there, and on the side of it, big and bold black letters, it said, Oh, my. Weird. It was just weird. It was driving down and the big F word across the. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear, Brad. <laughs> it's just kind of weird sometimes. That van. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was a franchise or not. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to know who you are. Nancy, are you are you married, single, got kids or otherwise? What's going on in the Nancy world? I am actually married to somebody who I've been married to for 35 years. Whoa. And, um, we have two wonderful kids, a daughter and a son. Oh, so you got a good mix. Yeah. What was tougher to raise, the son or the daughter? Neither, I mean. They, they, were, were both. they were both angels, weren't they? Yes, they were both perfect. <laughs> I was. I was an angel, too, in my eyes. <laughs> right. I think I might have been a challenge. <laughs> so who put Vicks on the Cheez-Its? <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about what you do. I know that you are a wedding officiant. That's one I of the am. things you do. I do custom ceremonies for people, and I do um, weddings that reflect their values. So um, it's a wonderful thing to meet with a couple and create a ceremony with them together and then um, perform that ceremony with them. I do premarital counseling with them if they're open to that and they want to do that before they get married. Um, I do baby blessings and um, funeral memorials. So they're all custom. I work with people to find out exactly what they want in their kind of ceremony and so forth. You know, I, I know that you married us, me and Monica, and but we didn't do one of those pre-consulting things, but it's probably a good idea to get someone else's opinion of the things that could possibly happen, but it was different with me and Monica. We just kind of connected and kind of, it's been a wonderful life all through so far. Yeah, <laughs> you guys had already, you know, you really didn't need it, and so, you know, it wasn't necessary. But sometimes, I can see how important <laughs> that could be. a lot of that work together is when people first get together they got those huh? goo eyes when people first get together and they got those goo goo eyes and oh, stuff and they went oh i'm still here and you're still there and we just got to shake it up a little bit here i'll do this right. our connection got am i back now oh we're having a bad connection brad are we back now are we... yeah we are there we go. So it was a little glitch. Maybe I can chop that out of the thing. Not oh. everybody needs premarital counseling, but it is a good thing for a lot of people to do just to, um, the, I use an assessment and it um, kind of assesses people in nine different areas of their relationship. So lifestyle, sexuality, money, um, their family life, you know, um, a lot of different kinds of areas that come up in a marriage. And the main thing I teach is conflict resolution and communication skills. Do you got that thing of the toilet paper going over the top or under the bottom? Uh, I haven't, <laughs> haven't had that come up yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's usually a lot of stuff underneath that that's uh, uh, in the way. So, um, yeah, it assesses people in these different areas and shows where they have really a lot of strength and then where they might have challenges. And so we kind of focus on both of those, you know, focus on where they're really strong in their relationship and also where they um, they might have challenges. And wherever you have challenges in your dating, you're gonna it's going to show up in your marriage. It'll probably go all the way through. And it's just one of those things that gets littler and littler and littler the more you um, work on these things together. So... 
it's really a cool tool to use with people. And um, I love working with couples. I think that's a good idea to kind of go through that kind of thing in advance before you make the big commitment. Yep. Yeah. So there's some other stuff you do too. You want to share some of that? Yeah, I am a, a spiritual counselor and I do energy healing with people. Um, and so my main thing is I really like to help people clear what's blocking them, what's keeping them stuck, um, where they hold pain in their body, where they've hold fear or trauma. And I have a lot of great, big, shiny, wonderful tools to help people release a lot of those things out so that they can feel um, more peace and freedom and joy in their life. Yeah, there's always those little those little blocks, and I think it's I, I always advocate for coaches and consultants because it takes someone else to kind of hold up the mirror to say, "See, you know, it's, a lot of times you can't see what's really going on." I do some work with a guy in the uptown area. He does massage therapy, and then we also do some talking in in you know before the massage. And there's always something weird that that it's a, like a childhood kind of thing that I never would have thought was affecting something like. Something as simple as asking for money as far as business, yeah. you know, because if you're a little kid and they say, we don't have, we can't afford that, right. you kind of feel guilty asking for money and you got to resolve right. those kind of energetic issues. Absolutely. And I find that they're all kind of locked in the body. You know, our body is kind of like a 50 billion gigabyte hard drive that holds <laughs> all the, every memory, everything that's ever happened, good, bad, or ugly that's happened to us. And so it's really interesting because somebody might go to a doctor and they can't, you know, they'll get sh sh their shoulder looked at and nobody can find out what's going on. And, and we go into it in some energy psychology ways and find out what's going on with the energy that's causing that ache in the shoulder. And oftentimes it's a memory of something that happened that was really traumatic for that person. So um, going back and creating safety for that younger part mm -hmm. is really um, powerful and the ache oftentimes goes away I mean I've had people come in here and um, like one woman had just debilitating hip pain I mean she could barely lift her leg to walk up steps she had to take the elevator and all that and by the end of the session um, she could lift her leg up and she had all this freedom and it was gone like gone yep. after having been there for months so <coughs> excuse me um, it is uh, powerful to be able to do this yes, work. Some people don't believe in that kind of stuff, but it totally makes total sense to me that we're all connected with the, like the, the yoking of the mind and the body and the spirit. It's all connected. Like I had a situation like where I was having some pains, not chest pains like in the heart, but more pleurisy kind of stuff under the armpit. And it was, yeah. go, it was gone away. I was in Costa Rica for nine days and I didn't notice nothing. But then I came back and I was going to go work out and as soon as I even thought about working out, I start feel this little thing. It's kind of like, that's just psychosomatic. I've, I'm not working out right now. It's all in my head, you know? Wow. you got to affect that stuff. So I get it. I get it. Now, there's another thing, that, another business that you've got that is a commemorable kind of thing, and that's your Moonlight Pillows. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. I created this pillow. I've got one right here. Bring one over. <laughs> Come on down. That's why it's I called Moonlight. This amazing little pillow. It's in the shape of a moon. It's called Moonlight Pillows. And um, I created it for women going under undergoing breast cancer treatments and all of that kind of thing. And it kind of grew out of my healing practice here. Um, I really like helping people feel comfort. And so, um, excuse me. When my best friend got breast cancer, I had no idea what women went through. I just thought, oh, strong medicine, makes your hair fall out, looks painful, you know. But I had no idea, just really. So I created this little pillow. I invented it, and it fits underneath the breast or between the breast or under the arm. Um, after they've had their surgery under the arm, a lot of people do. And um, it gives them comfort while they're going through breast cancer treatment and radiation and surgeries and all that kind of thing. Well, that kind of leads me into right before my favorite question. But before I ask my favorite question, can you share how to get a hold of you if they want to find Nancy? Yes. Um, my website is nancylindgren.com. 
and I'm in the Minneapolis Uptown area. My office address is in my uh, on my website there. Okay. And my phone number is also on there, 612-868-2160. And then also the Moonlight Pillows are moonlightpillows.com. Just like that, like L-I-G-H-T or? Yep. Perfect, Moonlight Pillows. Okay, here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. I kind of already understand why. Why are you doing what you're doing as opposed to why aren't you like a school teacher? Or why haven't you opened up a, a donut cafe or how come you're not like a ski instructor or something? Why are you doing what you're doing? Um, I am doing what I'm doing to help people feel more peace and freedom in their body, more inner peace, more freedom, more joy. I kind of picked up on that right away because with huh? the, I picked up on that right away because I've known you for a while, but with the everything that you're doing, it seems like it goes into helping people, and that's a that's refreshing. And to see most of these interviews that I when I ask the big why question, it's people want to help people, which is there's hope for humanity. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, very cool. Well, I don't like to take too much time because time is a commodity. We've all got uh, only 24 hours in a day, so I want to get this out and put it up to the universe. If you want to do another one of these down the road with some specific niche, like if you've got a program or something you're launching or anything like that, is there anything you got coming up that you're launching? There is. Um, I'm teaching a class on April 12th on a technique that I do called Holographic Memory Resolution. Very powerful. One of those that goes into the body and helps free that um, old pain and trauma up. And um, I'm teaching a two-hour class, which is like an intro. And then my teacher's coming to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area on April 20th through the 22nd. And um, his name is Brent Baum. And you can contact me to sign up for that if you're interested in taking a deeper dive in one of the most awesome energy psychology practices <laughs> around. <laughs> All righty. Well, I will uh, put those links in this where I propagate it out and I put it on YouTube and a couple other blogs and I will share those with you. And if you could share those with other people, that would be wonderful. And one hand washes the other. That's the whole concept of Synergy Cafe. Alrighty. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, Nancy. Be well. Peace. All right. You too. Peace.